Te bore da sain siŵr mae'n gynnar iawn am gêm pêl-drod ar Brynhawn Dyn Sadon ond croeso mawr ato ni croeso i bont y pryd ac am gêm enfawr sydd gyda ni Brynhawn. Mae ddau glwb sy'n hafal ar bwyntiau ar waelod y tabl sy'n brwydro i aros yn uwch gynghrair Cymru. Ie, croeso i bont y pryd sy'n gallu gweld yr ceir ar yr ap pedwar saithim. Ti ôl i chi fan hyn, mae'n braf iawn cael y cwmni chi ac mae'n braf iawn cael cwmni. Alc y malen, ti iawn mocs? Dwi'n tawr, tyrion. Mae'n rai fi wneud, mae'n bach o family y ffer, prin hawn ma, achos mae dyfrawd i Gafyn Allen erbyn hyn sydd wrth y lliw i bont y pridd. Ond mae'n malcs yn syml iawn, mae'n prin hawn ma, mae'r cynlyniad prin hawn ma, yn mynd i fod yn enfawr i'r ddau dîm yma. Ia, enwedig ro'n neithiwr, yr cynlyniad a neithiwr, felly, ti'n edrych eich ar, mae hon yn 6 pwynt ar. So mae'r ddau efo di'n un pwyntiau, mae'n dau pwynt o blaen o mae'r brysfydd rwan hefyd, felly, sy'n un o metru neidio i'ch ben, dod allan o'r syfle o'r na, sy'n disgyn bwydyn yma. A ni ddyn o'n psycholeco, reid jyst o'r hwb na, elle, i fynd yn ni blaen ac ar i fath o momentwm a mynd ar rediad bach. Fel, mae pont o pryd i bod yn ddiweddar, ond dwi'n cael bod yn bai ysgol. Ha, ha. Wel, heddi yw gêm fawr y penodnos, ond mi oedd na dair gêm arall neithio. Ar y mal gymnaw ni ddechrau y seintiau newydd yn mi ddi cynarfon o oeth gôl i, ddi, i ddim ôm y rhain i sôn am y gôl yma gan Siôn Bradley ma. O, oh, Siôn Bradley o'n i'n meddwl â deliali oedd o, ble mae'n oedd maith yn ôl i Spurs, ble mae'n oedd y beal na dros yn amddiffyrno. Ond y cyffyrddiad cyntaf, mae hwnna'n sgil mor anodd i, jys cael dwi'n gadar y beal, tra mae'n dros i'r sgwydd o, tynnu ti mewn, a'i gosod ti ar ei cyffyrddiad ail ag y sgorio hefyd, gwych gan y fo a gôl lefel, lefel gwahanol. Yn y chwech isaf wedyn ni, Malcs, dwy gêm enfawr, Penabont yn erbyn Aberystwyth, y Barri yn erbyn Hulford. Nawn ni ddechrau gyda gêm Penabont, nath i orffen yn un gôl yr un yn y stadiwm gwydr STM. Oedd hwn, gan lyniad, siomedig i Penabont? A, un cwestiwn, un cwestiwn, nad ti wedi bod mewn i cael tynnu pwyntiau ddiweddar, dyn nhw'n wedi bod yr un un tîm, dyn nhw ddim yn saithfed Hulford sy'n ar wan, ond ti'n edrych... Mae'n gadw siawnsro, siawnsro, siawnsro wedi mynd hildio yn yr eiliadau dwyth o'r gen. Ni ddyn o'r frifo pen y bont ar eis gryffus. Ond a brys fi pwynt gwerthfawr oddi cartra, mor bwysig iddyn nhw at y gymaint o'r mor. A thi hefyd orffen yn un yr un rhwng y Barri a Hulford. Giles Richards i gôl i rwyd ei hun. Cai Whitmo hefyd yn methu cig o'r smartyn i Hulford. Wedyn ni Rhys a Brusesi. Mae'n gwrs mae'r cynlyniad yma eto. Dyn neud gêm heddi, jyst pach o'i spicy. Yn dim mae yn, a hefyd mae'n gadael y saith o'r safle na'n gwrna dal efo di pen y bont stal nhw. Ond, ia, heddiw, ti'n bod yn allan i ddeud am faint o fawr a hanfodol dy di iddyn o'r tîm am agiro. Ond, dwi'n meddwl, mae gafyn, a hefyd mae o'n rheol o'r pont o bryd i gêm gartra gyntaf o, mae gennym o bum pethau o'r wyth dwytha gartra fe yma, mae o sydd o'r allan o hon fe bydd i golaeth. Fydd hon ddim yn gêm gyfartal, fydd hon yn eich diar ochr dosedd yn bynd dan stigon o gyffro ni. Wel, dyma yw'r sefyllfa o ran, wel, dyma canlyniadau'r penwthnos. Mae wedyn ni y seintiau newydd yn meddwl i cynarfon o oeth gôl i un. Un yr un hefyd rhwng Penabond a Brystwyth a'r Barri yn erbyn Hulford. Dyma'r sefyllfa, felly, yn y chwech uchaf y seintiau newydd. Fel, un i gyd yn gwybod ymhell i'ch ben y gweddill ar hyn o bryd malcs. Ea, ti'n gael cymryd pwynt rhywbeth yn ôl pwrdd o'r dda? Sa'n siŵr y stro hwnna gweith fe'n mariolen gweithio, a wedyn ni y chwech isaf Hulford sydd yn y seithfau safle ar hyn o bryd, triffwynt uwch ben pen y bont. A fel i ni wedi sôn, Malcolm, pont y bryd bai Colwyn yn hafal ar bwyntiau ar y gweilod, gall un o nhw llusgo i hun yn mas o safle o'r cwymp yna yma. A mae mewn hwb anferthol, cwyliedi yr ysbryd, yr agwedd, yr hyder yn y stafell newid na bydd i goliaeth heddiw a mae hwnna'n jyst mynd â chdi cam ymhellach. A mynd, ti bod yn y rwythos nesaf, mae'n dilyn i fyny am y gem nesaf, ddydd pawb, llawn, llawn hyder, eisio edrych ymlaen am oedd eich ymlaen. Mae'n malcom yn diolch yn fawr am y tro o il, un alen, i'r llall ni am glywed, gan dyfrawyd un o'r gafyn alen sydd wedi bod yn siarad gyda dylan Ebenezer. Gafyn, cwestiwn cyntaf, ti wedi cael dy wynt ers cyrraedd yn hyn yn fond y pryd eto, beth yn dachos setlo? Doch, rhaid teg, mae'r hoci wedi bod yn ardderchog gyda'i di gwir. Mae'r bod, mae'r pob wedi bod yn ffantastig. Bo ar y funud, da ni'n gorau consensio ar y gem. Gem i gem, gem fawr heddiw eto. Mae'n i gyd yn fawr yn chyda ni yn y gynrair. Bo da ni'n edrych ymlaen iddi. Pan chi'n dechrau edrych ar y canoniadau ar y stadegau, chi'n gol sefyllfa pont y pryd, fe'n teimlo fel sefyllfa ffi goherwydd y chwe phwynt na. Ond, dyna le i chi, sy'n mam ser i... Wel, i ddim o triannu dros y chi'n enfawr siŵr. Na, dwi'n meddwl, fel, fel i di si, fel, y greatest escape wel, da ni'n ddweud. Um, Bod, da ni di dechra da, da ni di pedwar pwynt mewn, mewn, mewn y ddau gem gyntaf. Um, tri pwynt heddiw, gobeithio, a da ni'n edrych yma'n nesaf. Fel, dwi'n ddweud, gem i gem.
Yeah, I got on I got for Nebwyr. How about the money got by Colin in a gang red? Manu di Kalina North have it. Bechin de school heavy. What do you show of his team with Dietrich and Beb for Danid? What a horror and another I came this sort of for Danid or sit up my patroom or game. What do you medal Cabithio within game Gallad? Doing doing up or stay, but you go boss in my team, my gate. Blow to go with you in the deeping back. Just deep in my clear quality. Going to Horror and Fabulous. Gavin Allen and Barod and Danny Vesley. Alcum Oran a team up. I've been soon about with Amlog Yoni Wait. I'm a Golia and Mini Wood more boy sick from now. I do with a Timor. Oran Pontepreed, Ben Amen, Mavin Dechre and Rina Deg Hedi. Peter Golan, you can read Cambridge, he's an in Tamarama. Mangan performed Maura of the Ve. I'm Bidem on Cryograph, Arriola Newith. Yeah, the news got a lot of index size Golan is going to a Pontepreed catch up. I can see Kir Mayaquid on a Marvan and the Gavin de Bodden a Gorame de Welt. My Gamerit Cre, my Gamerit Maun, Savage Newit, my Cal Popolurthi, and a super and cotty gemma, the same my uncover threp in the Ion, Trepa Minutin. I mean, my Gavin, I mean, wife, Pumthago Horevisin, Kufio Galin, and I mean, and Yach in Riolur, Kalin or Arvine Kedigro, Petorana, Evoda, the team can have it on any with that. When you got Petor points of Dui game on the Katra, or Namun, but I've got Ipimak with Clinical and a Kurs Cosby. Or on by Colwyn, Mal, skith yn i sgwrsfach cyn y gêm. Maen di, ennill, sorry, colli 17 ah. gêm tymor yma, ond yn y gêmau eraill, maen nhw wedi cael 17 o bwyntiau. Mae cysondeb wedi bod yn broblem mawr i dîm Steve Evans, a mae fe'n gwestiwn o pa fai Colwyn sy'n mynd i droi lan prynu yma. Mae yn i fi oherwydd, maen nhw wedi tan gyflawn ni, a ni... Well, I think that's a money she did. Said I'm going for the quechica. Ever cut he dug on Steve. Ever kept no cut can no. I can be great. Well, club or minds. The bike calling that even the area of Kingray. On the new thing anymore. That in order to get away with calling the time he shown out. The now the the man who goes on the better stuff is now it. On the sick here. Man who should be the run or call run or press man. Quech million. Can I come to this bill droid? And a child man on this side. Felly mae, mae yna'n deud, mae angan, cyro gemau fel hyn i aros yn yw'r cyngred i'r ddau dîm. Ie, yeah, mae hwnna'n bwynt arbennig. Lle ti'n credu fydd hon yn cael ei hennill heddi, Mal? Cos pafro i dres i ddysyn i gael y llygad, Mal? Yr ail bel ma'n yn ganol cae. Mae gennych chi Clayton Green, mae gennych chi Lewis yn ganol cae, Bevan yn ganol cae i Pont y Pryd. Ond hefyd mae gennych chi Cushin sy'n arfenthig o Wrexham yn bai Colwyn. Ynddeg na oedd, wedi chwarae yn sy'n cyntaf Wrexham tymor yma, a fydd o fy mae creidiau yn ganol cae. Felly mae hwnna mynd i fod yn frwydr i wylio. Ia, da ni weld ti'n un o'n gyrchol ar adegau, ond mae hynna'n mond am bod y ddau dîm isio mosod, fydd yn gem y gorad, fydd yn golio yma, a fydd yn gem gyffrois. Ti'n siŵr, fydd eithach chi'n bwysig yn digio'r awan oes? Ond i jyst mae'n gofyn hefyd, Mawr. Pa mor bwysig ti'n credu fydd canlyniadau cartref i bont y pryd rhwng nawr a dyn yn y tymor? Pimp gem gartref mewn wyth gan dyn nhw. Dechrau heddiw. Mm. Um, felly, ti'n siarad dechrau'r droed fain, ond mae'n fantais. Dyn mae'n bwysig neb ddeud, mae'n fantais i chwarae gartref, ond y cefnogwyrch ddeud, ond y bwysig rhwydd i gafyn y di, creu'r graff heddiw. Malcolm, diolch yn fawr am y trofi, mae'n iaith yn ganol cae. 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 Mae'n Malcolm, diolch yn fawr am y trofi mniadol i chi fynlan i'r pwynt sylweddi i ymuno a dylan Ebenezer ni'n agosau at y gic yntaf yn hyn ymhont y pryd. Ond beth am i ni gliwed gan rheolwr by Colwyn, Steve Evans, sydd i fod yn siarad gyda dylan. Steve, back in South Wales, you're getting used to these journeys now, but how big does this game feel at Pont y Pryd today? Yeah, they're all massive. You know, I've said it before, we've got eight cup finals left. Um, and to be fair, we're ready. You know, we travelled down last night, we prepared right, and we're looking to put him in a in a good performance. I usually ask about team news, but the one that stands out is your top scorer, Akpan, missing today. Uh, how much of a blow is that? Yeah, he's, he's been massive for us. You know, he's given us that platform, but it's an opportunity for Lloyd to come in and show what he's about. You know, he's athletic, he's strong, and he can score. So I'm looking for a big a, a big performance from him. You've had some funny results against Pontypridd. One comfortably here, then. Lost very late at home. Do you know what can we expect today? Um, hopefully, we've learnt our lessons. You know, we got back in it at home, um, and just naivety at the end. Um, so we'll learn from that. Um, but we've got to go out and play our game. We know what they're going to bring. You know, they're physical. You know, they'll go direct into a um, Ben, the nine, um, and we've got to deal with that. And then we've got to go and impose ourselves on them and play our way. Yeah, just finally, how hard is it to assess a team when they've got a new manager coming in? Did things change dramatically? Yeah, they, they've had that lift. You know, you can see that by their results. Um, but we've got to put a dent in that. You know, and, and that's what we're planning on doing. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Good luck, Steve. Cheers, Dale. Thank you. Brilliant.
Y ddau reolwr yn barod amdani felly a jyst i'ch atgoffa chi pa mor efantol mae'r gêm yma heddi. Y ddau dîm ar waelod uwch gynghraid Cymru yn hafal ar bwyntau ond mae yna gyfle eiraidd i lusgo mas o safleod y cwymp prynhawn me. A'r rhestr gêmau heddi jyst i'ch atgoffa chi dwy gêm yn chwych uchaf nes ymlaen Caecona Met a'r dre newydd yn erbyn y bala. Mae'n benwthnos fysi iawn. Well, your usual reminder, English language commentary is available with Wales Sea Manager Mark Jonah Jones is with Tommy Morgan. A gan y Gymraeg eich tîm sylwyd i chi ar gyfer hon i Malcolm Allen a Dylan Ebenezer. Good afternoon and welcome to the University of South Wales Sports Ground where Pontypridd entertained Colwyn Bay in a massive six-pointer at the foot of the Cymru Premier League. Gavin Allen has taken over at Ponty and rekindled their hopes of beating the drop by taking four points out of six in his first two games. Steve Evans and Colwyn Bay produced a marvellous 1-0 away victory at Aberystwyth in their last game and will hope to make it two wins for the season at Ponty's ground after winning here 1-0 in the first phase in November. This if there ever is a six-pointer, Tommy Morgan is a six-pointer. <laughs> Absolutely. Spot on there, Mark. Massive game for both clubs. A win for either team would get them out to the bottom too. So that's how important it is for both clubs. A draw, probably no good to either team, really. Um, I think at this stage of the season, it's wins that are needed. Incredible, Tommy. You just sense that sort of... Uh feeling around the ground here there's the, the two teams and how big the game is for them yeah certainly the two teams here I mean one thing that strikes me already is you know George Radcliffe the goalkeeper top keeper yeah. and uh, probably Joe Smith I've seen him a couple of times this season not the biggest keeper but it'll be interesting to see how they get on get yeah. on this afternoon could against. be very key factors the two men between the sticks this afternoon like you said and also up top goal scoring has been a problem really for both teams yeah but you know Pontypridd Pont Pont now with Ben Amun back in the forward line I, I su suspect he can get the goals that could keep them up um, but plenty of experience as well I like the uh, Margots and Davis and Wright I think they probably have a three but it says they've got a four in the back but I, I suspect they might well go to a three in the back just talking to uh, Gavin, in fact, Tom, not just uh, trying to tell you you were wrong, but you think he's going to go with a four to start today, which is a change. That'd be interesting if they do. And again, until the game starts, Mark, you know, these formations, uh, they're just for the viewers to have a look at. But Marsh Hughes, he comes in instead of Akpan this afternoon, so, you know, big shoes to fill. So if he can get a couple of goals there this afternoon for Steve Evans, I'm sure he'll have done the job. Yes, Akpan will be a massive miss this afternoon. Yeah, that's Cushion there, on loan from Wrexham. Certainly a good addition for Steve Evans in the middle of midfield. Already played for Wrexham this season, so uh, highly rated. Oh, and Paul Cushion, yes, and there's uh, Clayton Green, Tommy. Yeah, they don't come much more experienced than Clayton Green, so that could be vital in the relegation push they're involved in. Big game at stake. Referee Rob Jenkins, one of the up and coming referees in this league. The weather is fine, considering the type of weather we've had in, in the last week or two. It's dry anyway, and Pontypridd kick off. Magson goes along with the first one, Downs heads away, back into the mixer straight away. First goal vital in these sort of games. First goal vital in any game, but today very key. Hooked away, Jared Wright. Looks like Tom at present they are lining up with a four. By the way, Alan just comes off his mark. And interesting to see if uh, Harry Owen would have gone with him. Then he didn't. In fact, he just stayed in the back and stayed back as a free first free kick of the afternoon. There will be given against Owen Jones. Just barged into Alex Downs. Yeah, it'd be interesting if Owen or Sam Hart are they going to go man for man on Ben Moon? Doesn't look like, it doesn't look like from the start, and it's interesting. 
well, really, <laughs> for me, you look, he's the main goal threat for me. 14 goals last year, Tom. Yeah, you'd be marking him as tight as possible, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely for me, yeah, and just get somebody dropping off, but it looks so, like it's just going either side of him. Yeah, so if he drops off, Mark, they, he could cause a lot of problems because he's got a decent touch on him. And there was a centre half of quality, played for Wales, as well as TNS and Wrexham in his career, Stephen Evans. Tough job to start, but one he's. Steph Edwards just gets away with one there. It goes back to Smith in goals. Smith. That was a close goal, goal Mark. Very close goal. Great start for Gavin Allen. He's two games. He beat Barry away 3 0 and drew one all at Haverford West after having Luke Cummins sent off also in the first half. So he's taken four points out of six. Bubbly character and they've puts a few smiles on people's faces Owen goes with a diag back inside there Dan Atkins referee plays on doesn't play on just a little bit of a late challenge there yeah, Kevin Lewis just catches cushion a little bit late there Cushion to take the free kick. The big men gone up, Harry Owen gone up. Alex Downs was usually good in the air, headed away by Jared Wright. Hook clear by Pritchard. Good feet, Lewis. Amun's running on. He's pretty pacey, Amun. There's a chance early on. Does he take it himself or does he pass? He takes a touch. Had to go in first time if he wasn't taking the shot on. Took the touch and sort of stemmed the flow of the move, Tom. Great ball in, Smith collects. Tell you one thing, Mark, that was a great opportunity for Ben Moon. For a striker, he should have gone straight for goal there. Instead of that, he dwelled on the ball. The angle was set up for him to just yeah. run at the goalkeeper yeah. as well. Absolutely. Downs. Marsh Hughes comes off his marker and brings it down. Keelan Lewis, key player for Ponte Pilid. 185 games, 15 goals in this league. They for Carmarthen, Merthyr and the like. Experienced midfielder now, Tom. You said in the midfield, you've got Clayton Green, Keelan Lewis. Plenty of experience in that. Steph Edwards just climbing all over. Owen Jones then, and it's in a good area here. Yeah. Steph Edwards it on Pritchard. Needless free kick to give away. She just dropped off there. Oh, he hasn't, he's absolutely clambered all over him there, by the way. Bevan. The big men are good. There are some big men in this Ponte Prime lineup. Wright. Pretty decent in the air. Keston Davis also. It's a decent ball in. Headed clear to the edge. Green knocks it back in. Headed away again. Ball bobbling around the area. Jared Wright throws a dummy, tries to clip one in. Clayton Green out on the left wing. Can he get the cross in? He whips it across the front. Again, chance to get the shot off and look to take the man on. Hill, he's got good legs, Matt Hill, especially on the break. That's what they got. They got pace on the break with Matt Hill. Top scorer last season. Lewis. I just like the way when Pontepreet attacked there, five players in the box, Mark. Great. Throw him forward. They know, Gav Allen knows it's a big game. Three points today would be absolutely massive. Exactly the same for Colwyn Bay. 17 points apiece in the basement battle. Win takes him out. Absolutely. Psychologically, it's massive. Edwards Sam Hart there trying to spray wide Keston Davis whose ex-team TNS have uh, kept up their excellent form last night an 8-1 victory against a top 6 Carnarvon Town what a result 
is simply on fire at the moment, Tom TNS. Well, they're just, they're just relentless, Mark. Absolutely relentless. But the goal of the game is by a player who might be, who might be interested in for the Wales team, Mark. Yeah, absolutely, Sean. He's having a great season, isn't he? And if he could, uh, Fantastic. I'm a little bit disappointed he hasn't kept it for two weeks' time, by the way. <laughs> yeah. What a strike, by the way. Downs. Would anybody watching that on the score yacht? Might get early odds on that for the goal of the month, Tom. He's on here. Jones, can if he can run away, he gets the touch. Just lacking a little bit of atmosphere from the crowd at present, Tom. I'm sure a goal will warm the place up. Owen. Hill. Great ball from Hill. Atkins with a chance to go straight if he can. He's on target. He's got to get the shot off. Gets the shot off. Oh, brilliant defending. What a defensive tackle as he just puts him off. Big chance to open the scoring, though. Yeah, similar opportunity. Running on towards goal there. Hill, lovely little flick there. Into Atkins. Atkins again. Strips away from goal. Good effort. Well, it's not a good effort. It's a shot to cross the goal. Not too sure if he was trying for goal there or trying to look at his teammate there. But certainly some good defending there, Keston Davis. It looks like he's given a goal kick, so... By the way, the referee's uh, rule in there. Marsh, who's actually got a touch on it. I mean, it looks like he got two touches, so he must have kicked it against his leg to stop it going in. What a chance that was for the Seagulls. Similar opportunity to Amun's earlier, wasn't it? That's, well, if it's on, you've got to get at them goals and try and put the ball in the back of the net. Well, you've got to test the keeper, Mark. There's da Dan Atkins. Express that in. So might be a little. Like do you know what? He it, might be a little disappointed he hasn't opened the score in there. You know, he's whipped it across. It is. It, keeper doesn't have to make the save because he put it wide. In fact, big chance. Green. Makes the way, gets the ball across the front. Again. Big chance across the front there. Clayton Green makes a run to the box, puts a great ball across the front. He's just asking somebody to get on the end of it. What a ball that is, by the way. Yeah, terrific cross by the experience. Clayton Green there. And already aerially. Pontefree looking dominant. Well, we've only had uh, nine minutes. There's not ten minutes on the clock yet, Tom. And to be fair, there's almost been three half chances. So, encouraging start to it. Both teams looking for the win, definitely. Atkins puts it through. Ratcliffe collects. And gives Keston Davis a slap on the back for his help. Sam Hart hooks it away. Hart ex Preston. Newcastle as a youngster. Two 28 games in this league now, Sam. Stephen Evans. I'm sure he won't be too disappointed with the start. There's the crowd. And the raffle collector as everybody sees at every game. There's the chairman, Paul Reagan. Ex-chairman, I think he stood down this week, but I spoke to him before the start, and he said he's still. Is he still chairman? Or? No, but he's massively still going to be a part of the club. Tactical move, most probably. Hart. Good strength from Magerson then. Great strength. Amun keeps it in play. Have to play the one-two with Jones. Colwyn Bay, first season in the league. It'll be a great achievement, I think, by Stephen Evans. Could he pick the side, keep the side in this league in this first season? Everybody knows how tough it is. Lewis, Kieran Lewis, whips it across the front. 
Owen heads away. Green just having a spell of pressure. No, Ponty. Can they turn it into a goal? Just a long throw coming up here, Mark. They've lined up. Big man gets it first. Harry Owen heads it away. Comes back across the front. Will get the corner. Interesting. Like you said, the aerial domination has been pretty good so far. And with the likes of Clayton Green, Keston Davis, Jared Wright, Ben Magerson and Ben Amun. He has to put this on the spot now. Ryan Bevan will take the corner. I know when Jones is all over the goalkeeper, or Pritchard is all over the goalkeeper already. He rips it across the front, headed away. Lewis just tees it up again. Hill will have to get up there quicker. Great ball in. Again, Sam Hart heads away. Lewis. Harry Owen. Hooks it clear. Great work out wide. Referee just gives a free kick. Key set plays in this league, Tom. I was at the uh, Aberystwyth and Pennebon game last night. Pennebon, plenty of chances to win the game, ended up to come into a last minute equaliser. And in fact, Aberystwyth had a header in there with about 20 seconds ago. They could have snuck it. Yeah, you often find that under pressure, but certainly a vital point for the Seasiders. Well, they missed some chances last night, Pennebon. Uh, was the manager a bit frustrated, I presume, Mr. Oh, Griffiths? Definitely, definitely. Owen. Early goal here this afternoon. Maybe we could have a bumper game with this. Tony Pennock. 92nd minute equaliser by Risa Abruzzese. Kept Tony smiling last night. Yes, Messi Abruzzese. Against his former club. Lewis. Hill again. It's a wide chance to whip it across. Dan Jones playing further forward this afternoon than he has been for most of the season. Certainly looked lively on the break, Mark. Colwyn Bay. Well, I think got, Hill's got, got a lot of pace. Yes, Hill got pace, Atkins and Jones. Yeah. And they're lining up against most probably four centre halves in the back four, Tom. So they fancy it. They fancy their chances of running at the defence, like you said. It is Hill to fire the throw in. It's decent throw as well. Jared Wright, great header away. He headed about 20 yards out. Hook clear. Cushion gets the header wide. Ball back to Joe Smith. Two managers, Tom, in the first almost 15 minutes. Most happiest, most probably so far. The traveller? Yes, obviously, when you're away from home, you don't concede an early goal. He's waited a couple of chances, or half chances on the break. Steve Jenkins. He's a, bit, a little bit frustrated at the end last night. You're always going to be frustrated at the end when you're giving a, a goal away with a minute to go in such a big game. Hill again, knocking it long. I mean, if Barry put a run together, Mark, they could oh, they nick that set spot. I was talking to their chairman, Tom, last Saturday at at the at the veterans game, and he, he he just said, you know, we're in with a chance, mate, and it's vital. Yeah. Seventh spot can guarantee Europe, like it did last year for the Bluebirds of Haverford West, and that's why everybody's keen to get that spot. Pritchard rounds his man. Can he get it across the front? He does get it across the front. Sam Hart again hooks away. Magerson. He's done well, Magerson, again this season. Certainly been a difficult side to break down. Yeah, definitely. Podapreet, Magerson, Jared Wright, and Keston Davis. 
real solid defenders. Sam Hart there coming through the back of Ben. I, mean, I want Ben to be like going to war a little bit more. Great pass, Bevan. Slide rule pass, just got it wrong. It was on, the angle was on then, the pass. He just got it a little bit wrong. He played it too close to the goalkeeper. That's why he's holding his hand up. Yeah, decent build up play though, Mark. Amun comes off really well, he's got a good touch. Pritchard looks lively down this right hand side. Ponty, 11th in the table, played 24 1 6, drawn 5, lost 13 4 17. That's been their problem. Amun, can he get at the defender and get a shot off? Lewis, Lewis gets a shot off. Oh, so gets a touch, doesn't get a touch on a great effort. Kieran Lewis looked like he was putting it in the top corner, then got a little bit of bend on it, but not enough. But a great effort from Kieran Lewis. Certainly thought the keeper got a touch here, Mark, but no, he didn't. It clips the outside of the post, by the way. It does clip the post. Yeah, terrific effort for Lewis. Curls up beautifully. There is such, somehow, a relaxed atmosphere at this ground. But there's, there's got to be tension. You know, you're 17 points a, points a piece in the bottom two. Victory today gets you out of that bottom two. Right. Green. Hill's been busy, Tom, uh, almost playing in the 10 roll, yeah. He's in behind you. Ratcliffe, good sweep in from Ratcliffe. Cushion. Edwards, back to hard. Mar shoes comes off. Great ball. Does, can he keep it in play? It does hold up. One on one in the corner there. Great ball across again. Jared Wright in a good position. Wright has started well at the, in the centre of defence. Thomas as well. Now one thing you don't want, Mark, though, is when you're playing like for four centre halves in a back four. Margaret's in there got beaten so so easily. Enabled Atkins to get across in the box there. So so simple. Ratcliffe. Just interesting to see the furthest man is Amun here. If you can just see it in shot, there's nobody, there's not a runner trying to get in behind. Sam Hart has won three aerial duels so far. Gav with Steve Savage behind him, Stephen Evans. I said two great players, Evans, a Welsh international. Gavin, of course. And 21 to us. Yeah, yeah, played for Stockport in the league and plenty of clubs. Great goal scoring record. Didn't quite score as many for Aberystwyth as someone else, though. So. <laughs> Owen. Oh, that is. It's the man stood next to me. Owen. Amu. Downs, good athlete down deal, but Amun draws away, good touch as well. He's bundled his way across, chance, big chance, and it's in the back of the net. Kieran no Lewis. foul either. Kieran Lewis puts a ball in the back of the net. The hard work was done by Ben Amun. Wins a 50 50 against a goalkeeper, Smith knocks it across. Kieran Lewis is there to put the ball in the back of the net and give Ponty Preed. A Actually, massive one nil advantage. Then we just brilliantly uh, down. He's not the, the slowest, but battles away there. And just cushion, just couldn't clear it. But good strength here. Good 50 50 wins that one. And as he, he lifts his head up as well there, to be fair to Moon, and squares it for Lewis. And a simple task then of uh, rolling it into an empty net. But. Oh, keeper, possibly keeper could have done better. just needs to get all yeah. of it. The youngster just needs to keep his hands on that in the goal. It's a big goal for Ponte Prido. They're on a good run of late. And you'll accept goals like that when they're sometimes, you know, gifted to you in a way. Great work, though, by Amun. Yeah, good. 
he's got a lot of pace, Ben Moon, and he, you know, Downs is no slouch. Got the other side of him there, and Ben battled away, won two 50 50 duels before just crossing the board to the across the six yard box. And yeah, the keeper Kieran Lewis gets his 16th goal in 186 games. And what a bonus when your midfielders start scoring for a holding midfielder, by the way. And Moon was uh. He had to win 350-50 or 250-50 to get the ball there. That's the league in front of us. Chance, shot off. Lewis keeps it in play. You got the latest table up to date there, but plenty of lift time Ponty, to go. And that's all don't, we mustn't forget. A points deduction they suffered as well. Yeah. They ended up finishing in eighth place last season under Stokes and Danny Thomas, which was a, a good first season turnaround, you know. Excellent. Next goal, key now, Tom. 22 minutes on the clock, Edwards. Just a poor play there from experienced Steph Edwards. I'm just looking over to Stephen Evans and... You mentioned, Tom, at the start of the game, the key points of an experienced goalkeeper and a youngster in goals. And when you do go between the sticks, you have to feel for the youngster. I just hope his, uh, his game... Just, he doesn't let it get to him, that one. There's no doubt he should have most probably held across. That's why he was disappointed with it. But big 70 minutes for him now. Yeah, absolutely. But if you're... Green intercepted really well. I think he thought that uh, Usain Bolt was up top then, Clayton, with that ball through to. Uh, yeah, I think he's a little disappointed with that pass there, Mark. Yeah, you you said Banner Moon was quick, but he's not that quick, no. Tom. <laughs> but they look a. You know, they look a strong side here, Tom, this afternoon, Ponty. Like you said, you're looking at them physically. <laughs> Do you know what, Mark? They look a confident team. Yeah. And physically, like I said, looking at them, you've got four people in the back of defence, six foot plus, well six foot plus as well. Green in midfield, Amun up the top. Right. Wins his header. Magerson, Green again, does what he's good at, winning 50-50s. Yellow card. Yeah, but Dan Jones there, a little bit late. Just trying to... On uh, Ethan Vaughan. He's unlucky there. There wasn't a lot in there. No, you're right there. Well, he's right maybe catches him on the top of yeah. the ankle, but he, has, he, has he done it on purple? Oh, well... I've got to see the commentators wrong. The referee was definitely right. He's caught him on the ankle, by the way. It's a good decision, decision by the ref. Davis. Magerson helps it on. Corner if it goes out. He lets it go out. Important few minutes now. This is a massive couple of minutes now for Ponty and for Colwyn Bay. They've got a 1 0 advantage. They're at home, they're on a good run with four points out of six. If they could add another goal now, they'll be on a crest of a wave. Just the keeper so small, Mark. Looking at it from our vantage point here. Bevan will stand this this one up. Owen oh, Jones has gone to stand on the goalkeeper. In. Tries to hook. May try to hook it back in, he gets a long throw. Big game in the top six this afternoon. Cardiff Met travel to Connors Key Nomads. 13 points clear, Connors Key Nomads in Third second place. place. Wow. A couple of wins guarantees them European football, Tom. That's amazing at this stage of the season. Flick, Magnuson, chance again. Smith comes off his line and collects well. A little off the ball over there in the corner. Gaston Davis, is it? Yeah. It is Keston, it looks like he's had a 
elbow there. No. Just causing all kinds of problems, aren't they, with the long throws. Overhead kick from Ben Amun. Smith. Scorio. Monday evening, 9.30. Plenty of goals on it. And there's plenty of goals on that if you're a TNS fan, by the way. Lewis. Ratcliffe. Unopposed. Unopposed, in fact, he let it drop in the end. One of the best idea, I think, letting it drop behind your back. Magazine again, just getting there first. Just Colwyn Bay just giving the ball away cheaply, aren't they, in midfield? Just gradually got on top in this game now, Conti, and the next goal is vital. Sam Hart clears away. Green. A couple of mismatches in physicality in their midfield as well, Tom. Yeah, just he just Clint Green just stands big and the players bounce off him. Well, he's done well over the years, and that's why you know he Wherever he's gone, you know, whether it be Barry, or the likes says Gavin, he'll be a happy man at the moment. Steve, with plenty on his plate. For the last four or five times, he'll dropped into the midfield there. Green's got on it. As an help, George Ratcliffe, by the way, there. But Ratcliffe does well. Pritchard putting plenty of pressure. Oh, tremendous defending from Steph Edwards. Atkins. Bevan. Intelligent. Back to the goalie. Ratcliffe with a wide ball. Lewis. Oh, tremendous. Great ball in from Amun. Pritchard. Will you get the shot off or look to cross it? Gets the shot off. Oh! Gives the goalkeeper the eyes. Goalkeeper goes to the right a little bit and it just goes in past the left peg in the near post. Second goal, wonderful finish. Yeah. Excellent. From the home side, Ponty there. Pritchard with the final effort. Ball comes from again. Ball in the air. It's a great back flick yeah. from Amun who puts yeah. it in. That's a great just to back release flick. him there. But then, you know, he's got a lot to do here, Mark. Again, I think if you look in here now, keeper shouldn't be beaten there. Yeah, he's just used uh, Sam Hart as a, a little bit of a shield, if yeah. you like, but puts the goalkeeper off. But two footed in a box, such a key. Oh, he's, he's just slotted that. Slotted it. Yeah, to be fair, we've seen the gap. Yeah. He's put it there. But good skill. Good vision. I think the writing could be on the wall here, by the good. way, Tom. They just started to say, we did say they start to show authority in certain areas. And two goals now. Yeah. This could be a long afternoon for Colwyn. One player who I thought would play a big role for Colwyn Bay, McGreedy in midfield. We haven't seen him at all. I think he's, yeah, he's, he's up, up against, against unlucky. He's he, up against Clayton Green, yeah. and Green's won every 50 50 in there. Whether Green's been given, I'm looking out there now, Green's been given the job, I think, to look after McGreedy, and that's the both captains with the armbands on. And Green is certainly winning that battle at the moment. Owen. All credit though, Tom to Pritchard, took it really well. Yeah, certainly he's been a handful for Steph Edwards since the start. Jared Wright, don't think he's missed a header since the start. Wright is hooked on again, Keelan Lewis. It's been all about seconds, cushion getting it back there. Too hard. Sam Hart, later in his career, has dropped into a... a Centre back role, Tommy, because he was always a you know flying winger, wasn't he? For the likes, yes, he was. Hart he's tried that diag a few times. He gets Downs in this time. Great ball, good touch, Downs. Oh, great effort and a great save. Good football from Colwyn B. Chance again, headed clear by Wright. But what a smart move by Colwyn B. Then and a great save from George Ratcliffe. Good touch from Amun. 
It's asking Green to do a lot there. Certainly uh, start that move hard. The crossfield ball right on the button. Brilliant touch, by the way, Tom, from uh, Alex Downs. Yes, the shot won't bad either. That's probably the difference. The goalkeeper pulls off a really good save there. That's who's there for Radcliffe. Owen getting forward. Creamer will want to get on the ball. Just showing a good little bit of enterprise since the second goal. They know they need a goal. Well played, big man out on the wing there. Jones tries to get the pass over. Magerson, Pritchard. Pritchard, Tom. And Owen Jones are two winners for Abel. I've seen them at uh, four Ponty, sorry. I've seen them the last couple of weeks. They get good runs in the team. You know, when they can get, like, say, eight to ten games together. They're not bad out wide, them two, you know, alongside Ben Amun. No, certainly. Both are. Uh, Especially Pritchard, he's got a good turn of pace. Downs, Green again intercepts, just knocks it clear. You've just seen Sam Hart's crossfield ball there. Superb touch by Downs, great strike, top save from Radcliffe. It was almost that good a move and a good touch in the way he ran and took it at pace. We almost, uh, our cameraman phoned it out to keep up with it, but. Ratcliffe makes the save and keeps it a 2-0. Just had a feeling though, I don't see what he came from the dugout. That Pontipi would just drop back a little bit after going 2-0 up, as if to say, oh, we're going to defend this. I think they should play on the front foot like they have been. Just seen that back heel again there now. Releasing Pritchard down this right hand side. Still got plenty to do, but great touch there. Rolls the ball with his foot. Just takes Finds it early back of the net simple goal but looking at it but it's a hard one to put away when you well that's got to be a foul Magerson gets up expecting a foul Hill shoved him over in the corner and the referee says play on Hill will fire the long throw in need something before half time now don't they uh, oh, Colin Mays are going to make a, a game of this Ratcliffe looks interested in coming together. I don't think he'll need to with a big man at the back. And Jared Wright has simply headed everything. What's gone in that box so far, Tom? Hill. Steph Edwards. Edwards. Cushion. Diag. Again, Jared Wright heads away. Downs. Green makes the interception. Long throw again. I think he'll travel out there to take the long throw. There's a bit of wrestling going on. Steven to that though. There's Stephen Evans, Tom. He knows he's had his problems. They've conceded more goals than any other team in the league. And when you uh, have done that, it's, uh, you've got problems. It fires the throw in. Again, right with the header. It's gone a bit like a magnet onto his head, Tom in there. Creep all across, again headed away. They're in the bottom two today, Pont de Pried, and their goals against record is as good as the team in the top two, which says a lot for the goalkeeper and the back four who played it all season. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. Just they found goals really difficult to find, and that's why they've are where they are but in the last in the second period last year Tom they finished 10th that's, that's, a, that's a big big challenge there from uh, Cushion he's fortunate yeah. not to get a yellow card there yeah. I see very fortunate going back to that one Tom they finished uh, last season Ponty they only lost one of their last 10 games what a great finish that was last season they really found form didn't they they won six, and that's when Ben Amun scored 13 goals, which most probably, like you said, kept them up. The four goals was the next top goal scorer. Goals have been hard to come by, Tom, in this league. Four number nines, or strikers, shall we say, all season. Yeah. Let's go back. I know we're going back. People are saying it's not worth going back. But there were some big hitters in this league years ago, the likes of yourself, the likes of Reese Griffiths, the likes... Well, Mark, just look across... Mark, 
Gavin Allen. Gav Allen. And Ryan Nichols. Yeah. Goal. 93 goals, I think, Gav for Aberystwyth. Not sure what Ryan Nichols got, but certainly he knew what the goal was. Had him a command as well. Terrific player. Owen. Back to Smith. Hart. You may have been right in your uh, analysis. Rugby this afternoon, 2.15. Good luck to the lads. Amazing uh, stat on that game. Tom, I don't know. Uh, of course, you're sports when you're not allowed to bet. Wales have a 22-point start in the book. He's at even money. Don't understand that, Mark. I'll tell you at half-time when I'm placing mine. <laughs> Come on, Gatlin's Reds. Hill fires it in again. Hill has fired that in now, I would say, seven or eight times in the first period. And this every time he's gone to a white ball in. Oh, chance on there for Pritchard to find Keelan Lewis, who's enjoying himself getting forward. Just overhit. Yeah, from excellent the captain. chance there. Pritchard looking very disappointed. With his final ball there, but it was on. Just cushion it was. He read that situation. Yeah, you're looking at the lights of Pritchard now. This Gavin, he's writing down his uh, analysis just before he's going to go in at half time. But the big two words he's going to say when they get in at half time is, Well done. If you are going in with a 2 0 victory, a 2 0 lead, by the way. Well, as a manager, Mark, I'm sure you plenty of times you're losing two little half time, say next goal, you know, can win it. So, Colwyn Bay ain't out of this game. They're not yet. out of it at all, but I see more goals in this game, Tom. Yeah, so do I. I see more goals in this game, definitely. Fondy <laughs> received six point penalty this season for fielding ineligible players. So, you put that six points on top of what they've got this afternoon, and they would have been challenging, maybe. For the seventh spot, Magerson. Cushion leaps well. <laughs> Steph Edwards uses his body really well then. Oh, great work. Not many in a box will Edwards put it across. Tries to fire it across. Ratcliffe goes down and collects at the near post. It was definitely a cross intended. He just miss it, yeah. has missed it and got it right. Atkins, great back flick. I think he was watching Ben Amun the other end. Great bit of skill. Like you said, he opened his body up for a cross there, didn't he? Hart. Amun makes the challenge. Cushion knocks it forward. Right. He's meant that clearance there. Right, that's a great clearance. Keston Davis knocks it on. Yeah, since they scored the second goal, I was about to say earlier on, I think you were spot on. They've just knocked, just dropped a little gear upon the, upon the breed. Taking a breather, and Colwyn Bay have had their best spell of play since the, the kickoff. Amun, Downs. Downs has played every game this season, which is fantastic. Edwards gets forward. Plenty of space in front of him. Does he get away to Atkins? Atkins against Magerson. Atkins goes to the line. Magerson stands him up well this time and gets a foul. Good defending from Magerson. Just put his body in the way. Made the winger give the foul against him. Yeah, once he gets in between the player and the ball, there's only one outcome there. And that's a free kick to the defender. 40 minutes on the clock. Ponty, Preed United 2, Colwyn Bay 0. A win this afternoon will see Ponty climb out of the relegation area. Aberystwyth will drop in. Hart. You nearly uh, tested your first touch there, Mark. Almost, Tom, almost. I was confident, don't worry. The, these goals are flying in in the veterans lately, Tom. I thought you were a defender. 
You've been inverted fullbacks or something, you? Oh, no. <laughs> Mar marauding sweeper. <laughs> Key. Could be a key key free kick there down in the corner. Pritchard, who is most probably now being the main man for Ponty in this half time, he's caused pro problems every time he's had the ball. Bevan to take the free kick, and the big men will go up now to try and get a goal which could seal a very, very good 45 minutes in first half for Ponty. Key moment in the game now. Bevan and, uh, he's just sort of uh, spoiled the build up by the commentator there by over hitting the ball by about 15 yards past the far post oh, that's left Green's left one in late there it, it could be on the linesman here it's definitely caught him late there's no doubt about that whether he's slipped another referee's running just see it again here, Mark. I think he turned his back. It's interesting. I think the referee has looked at it that way as well. Smith goes down. You see, that's just the way Green plays the game. He competes for every ball he goes for. That's, that's made his game over the years. Well, you don't blame him. He had to go for that, didn't he? Certainly a wise move as well by the Ponty coaching team to put Clayton Green on McCready, I think, as well. They, they nullified their best player. Yeah, definitely. Vaughan take the throw. Hill trying to break away again. Amun. Ben Amun will definitely, she scored a couple of late, he'll definitely trying to get amongst the goals this afternoon. He's a real handful, Mark, I'm just watching him. Overall, Tom, 43 minutes on the clock, he's 2-0, just about far for the course. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. Just one really good effort, hasn't it, from uh, Downs, yeah. that's been it, really. Surprisingly, though, Tom, Joe Lewis in the goal for Colvin Bay hasn't really had to make a save. The two attempts they've had was the one bundle the goal from Keelan Lewis and then the uh, enterprising goal from the winger Owen Pritchard gives him the lead. But he hasn't been bombed with goal with balls on him, has he? The young goalkeeper Lewis. Pritchard. Buys a foul there. I don't know whether Cushions caught him there with a the clip. He must have. But it's another free kick given away in a. Yeah. Has he caught him or not? Don't know. Ref sees, sees it as a foul mark, so who might to argue with the referee? Bevan, who's taken every set play so far this afternoon. Key player, obviously, on set plays. Ryan Bevan, excellent athlete, ex Swansea. Bevan to stand it up to the far post. Wright is on the far post asking for it. He's put it right on the goalkeeper. A great area. Amun first. He's just asking questions there, Bevan, of the young goalkeeper. It was a great free kick, Tom. If, if you could have picked it anywhere to put, that was it. It was a terrific ball, to be fair. It was one of them. The keeper's got to come for it. And he knows he's going to get bundled yeah, over definitely. as well. Did well to be, to be fair, did, to go and get did. it. Yeah. Well done, Lewis. Two minutes added. Lewis. Sunshine trying to break out at Ponte Pride. And there'll be Sunshine in there changing rooms at half time. Referee says play on. Pritchard. Magnuson puts it to the back post. Green with the first header. Lewis collects. Still. Colwyn Bay have something to build on Tom because they went Keston Davis asking the referee for a free kick there he doesn't give it they're still in the game said Stephen Evans with all, all his experience they're only a goal away from getting back in this game and I think when they got the second goal 
Fondi with chance again. Rakiv collects. It's not a bad effort as well from Marshews. Yeah, second one on target for them. Again, ball on the channel there. Shows a good bit of strength. Do you know the actual stat could be, Tom, that Ratcliffe has made more saves with shots on target than Joe Lewis the other end, and it seems to be a comfortable 2 0 for Ponty. But Ratcliffe's made three saves between the sticks, and he's had to make good saves. Green. The one thing, though, Colin Bay haven't been able to do, Mark, is, you know, build the pressure on. It's just sporadic attacks. Yeah. Ball sticking a lot more domes. Freak is on here. Cushion. Edwards. Back inside. Great work. Great work from Pritchard, who's been impressive this afternoon. Bevan. Magerson looking for Ramon. Edwards. Oh, for a goal just before half time, Edwards miscues the kick. Ratcliffe will let it run out of play, and the referee blows the final whistle for the first half. Goals from Kieran Lewis and Owen, Pritch Owen Pritchard gives Pontepreda a 2 0 lead at half time. We look forward to seeing you in the second 45 minutes. Welcome to Dylan with the Golia Kieran Lewis and Owen Pritchard. They're going to throw a thigh team. Are a hanner Pontepreid, Velma Pethin Savit, and Cody Ashan or Thai Isab. Right, I'm sir. I'm high back now. Ac I'm in the draw with Europe. Well, Europe's it with the dod. I landed power. Ivan Gwilym, ah, I'm there. Gan Vodmoy. Welcome to Lancet Major. In calcio, a peu qui ed a qui per i mania. Free Coast Gial, Denmark starts the football club. Croisa is an asset bow. My name is uh, Mian Antoniotti. I'm here in a presentation of the Phoenix Trophy as organizer of the tournament. So, Phoenix Trophy, what does it stand for? It's an acronym that stands for Friendly European Non Professional Innovative and Senior, which is the, I guess, the hardest word, the hardest word to, to understand. It comes from, uh, from Greek and Xenos. Uh, means uh, at the same time guest and foreigner. It's obviously a really proud day for the club, but we found out about this competition last year, so this is the third edition now of the tournament, and we thought, wow, wouldn't it be fantastic if we could get into this? I reached out to the organiser, completely ignored my first email, but uh, we're a very kind of, uh, we don't give up as a club, so I managed to track him down and have a chat with him. When we announced the, 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 the crowd participation, I got like messages and calls of people, like bloggers and magazines saying, ah, this is great, I know, I know them, they're great. And I said, OK, this is just a proof of how good of a choice I made. A different experience today, looking forward to it? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Obviously, like you said, a little bit different, um, unique from the usual games programme and, you know, one experience for the boys. You might not get this opportunity again to play against opposition outside of Wales in, in a competitive fixture. I took a first in Boma with us in Paratai in the game. Yeah, my 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 uh, season already born in intense in email like Laura Guayla done like my wife thought someone just really born in Bell, just enjoy it. So my once in a lifetime kind of thing, fly in Europe. When we go Hanol. Ten years ago we were playing in the amateur leagues basically against pub teams and we've managed to get promoted all the way up to the Cymru South, obviously won the league two years ago. Jack, you've had a lot of great experiences here, winning multiple promotions. Where does this European adventure stack? Uh, Got to be said, it's up there. The league titles are great and this is a really good distraction to have away. We've never done it before. Uh, I don't think anyone in Wales has done it before, this certain competition. Looking at the other clubs in the competition and um, where we are, uh, it's a massive achievement. I've got to ask you about the shirts, the one you're wearing now, but also you're quite used to being decked in crazy colours. Do you enjoy the limelight? I would love to say no, but yeah, there's a bit of me that does, does like it, yeah. I think Ben, who's in charge of the shirts, I think he secretly hates me. But at the same time, it's, I can't deny it, it's a bit of me. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's very important that we create uh, within these uh, these teams that um, that participate to the tournament uh, a sense of uh, friendship, uh, of cultural exchange. Uh, it's important. It's an experience that really gives the possibility to to the away team to enter the local community. My name is Henrik. I'm from B uh, Coast Girl, and um, normally at home I I stand behind the grill and make sausages and make all the good stuff for players, of course, and, and everybody who comes to, to see the games. Anyone who's ever been in an Atlantic Major Clubhouse after a game knows it's a really fun place to be. We want them to make sure that they really have a good, memorable time because, you know, in this tournament, they've, they've been in it for three years. They're the current holders. We, we, won, we were here last year and, and uh, we, we won them yeah, so in, in Milano and San Siro, so it's a great opportunity so this is a great uh, tournament and uh, I think uh, the pitch today could have been better we're not used to play on normal grass it would be nice to see you in in, in Denmark 26th of April look forward to that got the trips to uh, to London coming up and obviously to Copenhagen at the end of the season. We're really excited about that. You know, our, our usual away trips are uh, half an hour down the road, piling the back of someone's car. The Enfield Town going to London on a Tuesday night, you know, there and back is going to be a late one. And then the Copenhagen trip, you know, that's going to be a good one because it's, it's after our season and what an occasion to be able to go away and rather than it just being a friendly tour as a competitive game, that's what it's all about. For, for players who just play they work full time and then they play football on the side, you know, it's, it's huge for them. Come on! You got one more home game. Who are you playing? When is it? We've got Enfield next month on the 9th. There, we're playing on a Tuesday night, five o'clock kickoff. Um, you can buy tickets online or just come down and get them on the day. Um, it's obviously got the Wales England factor, which is going to be good, and we think they're probably the favourites for the group. So if anyone can come down and support us and kind of get behind the Welsh leagues, we'd be delighted. Yeah, I'm going to take my power and your back of Bale Road, Europe. I'm Malcolm Allen, we're going to get our points away. We're going to come near you. Malcolm, what's the plan? 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 Pont y bryd, oedd gen ni llaw am rhyw chwarter awr, oedd y ddau ddim jyst yn gweithio allan i systema a pwy ddo chwarae bin pwy. A ddim byd bach yn slo, ond dyn waith gathwr gog yntaf. Ac um, rhai fi ddeud, a, a mwna sy'n dyneud y gwahaniaeth, yna fo sy'n ddi creu y ddwy gol, fo sy'n ddi gweithio yn gael a ddi gael y ddwy gol, um, fo'i sgilio fo, felly da iawn iddo fo, ond yn sicr ar ôl yr un gol, dydi bai cofyn i'n ddi cynnig llawer yn ymosodol o gwbl, a dyn nhw ddim yn argohydd i bod nhw'n mynd i sgorio pro yma, felly mae ma hon yma i bont y pridd um, os dyn nhw eisiau yn yr ail ar yma. Yeah, Bae Colwyn heb gynnig los yn ymosodol, ond dyn nhw'n gwmwrs be, be mae bont y pridd wedi'i wneud. Tîm Gavin Allen yn creu cyfleon yn gyson iawn yn ystod yr hanner cyntaf yna, Malcolm. Ie, yeah, ac o iawn, Scott Screen, uh, well, mae hon yn bel gampus y draws y cwrt chwech, dyn nhw'n mi dyla. Mi dylai lewis llithrwy mewn ar ongl gwahanol. So, wedi mynd am y postu cyntaf, ellas so, wedi cyrraddu. Ar wedi wedi mynd ar draws chdi, a wedi ni ddim cyrraddu i'r postu pellaf. Ond wedi 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 just sgilio bach i hyn y fan hyn. Just yw, cadw'r bel i fyny, cario'r bel, cadwyn saff wedi yn yr ergyd na'n crymanu am... Uh, fo, dwi'n bod, am yr hanner awr, oedd Lewis yn arbennig o dda. Daeth o'r bryd y bel i ffwrdd i mi yn waith, a oedd o'n canol bob dim dal pont y bryd yn tri o greu, a neu fydd o'n ôl i fewn i tîm, felly mae o eisiau profi pwynt i reolwr i fod yn y tîm bob wythnos. Tra'r o'r postu na, dag yna, ond mi'n nath i lwc ddod roi ar ôl dipyn wedyn i gael o gog yn tra. A Lewis sgorio ddo, ond a mwn nath neu ti. Um, ac... O hynny, dwi ddim wedi gweld pont y bai colwyn yn dod yn ôl i fewn i'r gen. Mm. Atgyns bach mae lawr y chwith fa, mae mm. o'n gyffroes, mae'n eich ddeall chwrt y sedd, mae'n cymryd pobl ar, mae'n neu byddai ddigwydd, ond sa'n neb ar yr unyn lefel yn meddyliol efo, dyna di'n broblem. A gadewch chi ni weld y gol gyntaf, gol Ciaran Lewis, a dyma gol gyntaf Ciaran Lewis o'r tymor. A Malcolm, ie, yeah, eto pont y pridd yna edrych yn gyffordus iawn yn ymosodol. Ie, yeah, ac yn unig y bel yn, yn, yn ganol cae. Dyna dys y pwysigrwydd yma naw. Wedyn, just bod o'n cario ymlaen, uh, a mwn yn cario ymlaen, cario ymlaen. Un peth a ddeud hyn, os di'n raglu fy'n gol i bai colwyn prawma, mm. sa'n un o'r ddau yna yn, yn, yn sgorio. 
Ti wedi dyna di'n gwahaniaeth, y golwr sy'n si, gwahanol, uh, gwahaniaeth yma ni'n. Er pa bod sy'n bryd wedi creu mwy o gyflion, sy'n edrych yma ni'n. Mae o'n colli'r bel rheolaeth ar i mi. Mae gen bydd bach o lwc, ond sy'n bydd mae o'n benderfynol. Mae o'n benderfynol i giro'r bel ar y dacol. Golwr yn ei cael gymeriad, a mae'n lwy sy'n y lle iawn ar y pryd iawn. Um, ac gyna mo, just a das symbol i basio neu fewn. Gyth o'n gol hawlach. Ond i'n sôn cyn y gem, Alg Sam Ben, a mae'n apon mor bwysig o ddim yn ei bod. Mae fe, ma fe wedi cymryd lot o gyfrifoldeb i bont y pridd prynhaw ma. Mae wedi, mae'n ffynu ar y, y cyfrifoldeb yna hefyd, ar y cae, sy'n weld o, mae'n dod o draws Hart, mae'n dod o draws Owen, Harry Owen, yn, yn ochr arall yr amniffin, a mae'n jyst yw bwlio nhw, dwi'n licio'r gair, ond dyna mae'n wneud. Mm. Dyna mae'n cynnwys yn agos, ydyn fo, mae'n cuddiad y bel, mae'n cadw'r bel, mae'n dod o chwarewyd fewn i gem, a mae'n creu goliau. Dyna beth mae'n siarad i sgorio hyn, a dyna di'n swyddi go iawn o. Gydewch yn ei weld yr ail gôl Owen Pritchard. A mae'r gyfan, fi'n dwli ar y gôl bach chi'n gwaith rili, rili da gan Owen Pritchard. Ja, ond sbi'r sgil yma fan hyn gyna mwn. Mae'r mae, 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 mae llgadan tol i ben. Mm. Tio'n rhag gweld yn ymwybodol o'r symudiad. A wedyn, ok, Pritchard yn ei dywych i'r ei dillygad i'r golwr. Pan mae'n agor i gorth, mae'n sweli fynd yma'n posti beth am yn chwipiau fewn i'n posti gyntaf. Sy'n breich chi'n nod edrych ar y bel yma ni'n. Ti'n jyst, y peth pwysig ydy pwyd o'n swyllo'r golwr, edrych i'r posti beth am, a gadlo symud un llaf, ond eto'r golwr, mi'n haif ar ei fwy ymdrech. Wrth edrych ar Ben Amon, mae fe fel sy'n hyder i e wedi tyfu trwy gydol yr hanner cyntaf. Mae fe fel sy'n hyder y tîm hefyd wedi codi o'r bydd hanner cyntaf yn anibla. Yn ddys, sa fi'n gael ei enfo ni iawn. Um, <laughs> Dwi'n meddwl... Amen, 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 amen i amen i atyn iawn. Ac aeth o'n arbennig o dda hanner cyntaf ma, ac dwi bod tro'n dyst, dwi'n ymosodwyd di yn chwarae dda mwyn gem, mae ti'n mynd i giro'r gem. Ti'n meddwl dyna'r beth sy'n mor bwysig, o'r un mae o yn pivotal i bob dim yn atyn mynd ymlaen, bod o'n cadw'r bel yna, a mae wedi'n ein ar dda. O ran by Colwyn, ys di sôn cyn y gem, Malc, sy'n credu bod nhw wedi tan gyflawni, tymor yma. Nhw wedi tan gyflawni yn yr hanner cyntaf. Ni'n mynd i gael cipolwg ar i perfformiad yn nhw yn yr hanner cyntaf, ond just hanner cyfleon ydy'r ein, Malc. Ie, ar i fygwth i gyflawni. Ti wedi nili dde, nili men. Ti wedi gael dy alwyn am o'n gem bel droed, ond dyna. Hwnna dy cyfle gorau gath o'n un, meddwl. Um, mae'r stod i fewn i'r posi gyntaf, ond eto at cyn slawr ras gall chwith, mae'n creu'r or Eto do um, efo'r aclif tu ôl i'r ergydion yna. Mae o'i yn dwi'n fel, ia. Ia, nech chdi i'r ergyd. Oedd i'n ongl dyn, mae o'n mae cuddiad y bel, i ddeis i'n bod am ni ffyrm i ddim yn ei daclof o, wedi bod yn cael o'r ergyd o le am yn ei dygol o'r weithio, ond ti'n mynd i giro'r aclif o'r ongl yna. Mm. Ti'n mynd i ddim yn ei dywell na hynny. Um, um, mae'n anodd i fi ffendio neu Steve Evans dim reid er, hairdryer treatment <laughs> i'r ogia. <laughs> yn yr ystafell newid na Rage Rwan. Sa fi'n mylicio bod i mewn na. Dwi'n mynd i ddim fel am y ddyn nhw'n wrthyfu, ond dwi'n nabod Steve fel chwaraewr. A fi oedd ddim yn hapus efo perfformiad yna'n hanner cyntaf. Felly, just meddyliau mm. a pont y brydd gofio i rybuddio chwartyr awr gyntaf ar hanner. Yeah. Mae'n mynd i ddod anferth. Mae eisiau rhywbeth newid i fai colwyn. Mae Malcolm Diolch yn fawr. A fna'r rai adeli ti fynolan at dylan. Wel, pen wthnos nesa mana gem en fawr y seintiau newydd yn gobeithio mynd cam yn nes at y bencam pwriaeth. Pan fyddwn nhw'n croesawu met cyrdydd i neu ar y parc mae hwn am fyw am hanner awr wedi dideg dydd sadwrn. Wel, mae'r gem yma ni'n sbesial iawn, achos mae fe'n un sydd wedi cael ei dewis gan gymdeithas pêl drod Cymru ar gyfer yr ymgyrch Pildrod yn erbyn homophobia, and I'm so pleased to say I've got Charlotte Galloway that's joined me here. Charlotte, it's great to see the profile of this amazing campaign being raised during this game. Just how special is it for you to be here and to see the guys and to see all the support? Yeah, it's really incredible. I mean, the campaign's been going for 15 years. It's, it's not a new thing. It's not something that's popped up recently. But to have it platformed here in the JD Cymru Premier with these two teams as well, it's... Um, it's really great because a lot of the campaign is very grassroots focused, mm. trying to fight homophobia um, and to have that kind of acceptance and see that people want to get involved and want to learn how to be better allies to the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, it's, it's, it means a lot. You mentioned 15 seasons, 15 years this amazing campaign has been going for. What are the changes that you've seen during that period? I would say it's been a bit of a, a bit of a roller coaster in some ways. Uh, a few years ago, things were great. We had a lot of engagement. You know, Cardiff City had us down. We had people walking around the stadium. But in the last couple of years, there's been a lot more uh, discrimination, particularly online. I think the FAW reported that homophobia is the second most reported 
form of discrimination in football. So, yeah, at, at one stage, things were looking really positive. They're still looking positive, but there is that, that increase online. Having said that, we have more groups than ever signing up to the campaign. We had two teams form last year, which are LGBTQ plus uh, specific teams in Wales. So that brings us up to four teams in Wales. There's a lot of, I would say, demand. You know, the, the LGBTQ plus community is there and they want to play football. And um, it's, it's great having this campaign to help them align, I suppose. Yeah. Well, Charlotte, honestly, it's so amazing seeing all the amazing work going on. It's great to have you down in Pontypris. But I know you've travelled far today. You've come down from Manchester, I believe, this morning. Yeah, we had the Football v Homophobia Awards in Manchester last night. So I was coming down the M6, M5 um, this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you're a busy woman. We really, really appreciate your time and enjoy the second half, Charlotte. Thank you very much. Well, in Ibron and Barod are Gavar and Ail Hanar van Hen, Vashi, Euninol, As Malcolm, Adalara Benazer. Welcome back to the University of South Wales. Pontypridd currently leading 2 0 against Colwyn Bay in the basement battle in the JD Cymru Premier. The score remains like this after 90 minutes. I'll have to change the statement about basement battle because Ponty will climb out of it. And it'll be Aberis within there alongside Colwyn Bay. Certainly needing a big improvement in the second period. Mark, if they can get anything from this game. Yeah, I think as we said, Tom, since the second goal went in, next goal absolutely vital. Downs. Pushes forward. It looks like they're playing them with a little bit of intent there. McCready wanted the ball back off Clayton Green a bit quicker. Hill. Well, they've taken six of these in the first half. Somebody's got to stand on Jared Wright's toes because he won six of them. And Moon back as well to help out. In it goes. And Wright makes it seven out of seven. Magerson. Certainly good early pressure from yeah, Colin Bayer. Exactly what's wanted, Tom. Is that Tom Creamer on as a substitute? Yeah, I think so. Tom Creamer's obviously been brought on at half time. Scored some great goals in the league this season, especially early doors. Chance. Right again. Pritchard launches it forward. Goalkeeper Smith. Does excellent there, sweeper keep in. Green. Lewis, two against two. <laughs> Definitely come up with a bit more intent about their game. McCready getting on the ball. I think Dan Creamer. Jones has gone off, has he? Yeah, it looks like Dan Jones has gone off for Tom Creamer. Downs. Buys a free kick in the end, knocks it past Ethan Vaughan. Vaughan sticks his leg out and takes a big tumble there, Alex Downs. Yeah, he certainly knew what he was doing there, Alex Downs, didn't he? Just ran into him, basically. Yeah, over he goes. It's definitely, it's definitely a free kick. Yeah, I don't think it's a yellow card, though. Oh, vantage point commentating is right behind this free kick, and it's, it's, it's an inviting free kick if we can just bend it across Ratcliffe on the edge of that six-yard box, Tom. And puts in a great ball. Oh, Hart with a free header. Escaped it, marking of Ben Amun, and that's a big chance. He's only about seven or eight yards out when he gets a connection. He may be disappointed when he sees our replay. Free headed as well. Yeah, Hart is so good at that as well. Just good delivery right in the danger area. First big chance of the second period goes to Colwyn Bay. And in the first three or four minutes of the half, they've set a decent tempo. Vaughan wants a free kick that way this time he doesn't get it Marshews drops in there's a bit of work in midfield Downs back post Atkins just missed his header really the ball within was a decent one pulled his uh, 
and that muscles back and just mistimed the header. Yeah, Mark, if he's going to score a header from that distance, he's got absolutely no chance there. Better off chest in that. Down, really. Hill makes a challenge, trying to keep the ball in play. He'd definitely be a happy man at the moment, Gavin Allen. Just happened to walk past the uh, Colwyn Bay dressing room when they were going to write Rollick in at half time. Mark. Yeah, I did hear it myself, Tom. It's a little bit going off cream with their turns over. The referees had a good look at this. The yellow card has come out straight away. He's run straight across. Creamer will receive the yellow. We'll show her. obviously there'll be a replay of that. He's absolutely slammed him into the side, by the way. I don't think there's any need for that either. Not at all. Right in front of the bench as well. Perhaps it might have been asked for at half time. Perhaps Stephen Evans is getting to him and said, let's uh, show me we're here for a reason, not just to be rolled over. That's a... Uh, Crazy challenge there from Tom Creamer. Yeah, we've just seen it again, yeah. Woof. Bit of a get there. And absolutely slams him. I'll tell you what, might have a few quid on him for the bronze in the judo in the <laughs> Commonwealth. He's turned him over. Slow start by Ponty in the second period, but they're still stood on a 2 0 advantage. Green hooked forward. Certainly a lot more aggressive to start the second half, Colin Bay. Definitely most passive in the first half. Yeah, he's, he must probably gone in at half time. Tom and Stephen Evans have said them, come on, lads, you, you know, you realise what sort of situation we're in. It's taken us years, you know. We're in the Welsh Premier. We're a big, we're a big club. We want to stay in there. You know, they've they've added great things to this league with their crowds and their. You know, most people I think would like to see them stay in the league. Yeah, hundred percent. Good setup as well. At Llanelian Road. Amu, can he skip past his man? He does skip past his man. Can he get the shot off, Ben Amun? Wanted it on the right peg. Had a big chance to take it on his left foot there. A little bit more confidence. His hard work to get the sh to the shot position was excellent. Yeah, he's done I well. Would have pulled the trigger. Would have pulled the trigger. He was on on the left peg. It yeah. opened up. Yeah, Mark. But I think he's he's going away from goal here. I think he does the right thing. He wasn't going to get a good clean strike there. Good vision though. Spot Owen Jones. Yeah, his physical presence has certainly made the difference this afternoon, Ben. He's been difficult for the two centre half to look after, hasn't he? And it's probably surprising for me that you know Steve Evans knows the league really well. He's a centre half. He hasn't really got his defence right all season. You, you think else about it. With a head injury, there's that Hill, Matt Hill down with a head injury. Yeah. You know they've come up this season, and you're thinking, right, what are we got to do? We need a goalkeeper, a top goalkeeper. Haven't got it. It's Tom Lloyd Marshews on the deck. We couldn't see his number while he was down. He's up now, by the way. He's just, just taken one. A little bit of a flick, by the way. Yeah, so I would have expected Steve Evans to get his defence right. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's, it, like you said, it's a tough... It, it just proved how tough the league is. You just can't bring anybody in. You've got to have experience. You've got to be, you've got to be streetwise in this league. Corner. I know he lost Danny Holmes, you know, but first game of the season would showed us a little bit of what may happen. Yeah. Substitution. Yes, yeah, substitution has been made. Kai Owens, come on. It's whipped across. Again, some hard heads away. Creamer. Creamer has to be careful with any uh, fouls now after being given that yellow card. Edwards, get your bodies forward now. Got to put it in the box. Great ball in, chance. Oh, should have taken the first time. He tried to take it down, I think. Downs. Likes getting a shot off, Downs. Gets the shot off. Goes behind for the corner. Again, Radcliffe gets a hand on that. 
Downs had that excellent effort in the first half. Stung the hands in the first half, and this time just deflects off the keeper gets in the corner. Save. The goalkeeper gets the save. It's a good save then. But prior to that, Mark, they should have uh, done better. Atkins with the cross up front. Atkins, another save from Ratcliffe. That makes it about four or five saves he's had to make between the sticks, you know. Like I said, when you look at the stats at the end of this game, shots on target, there'll only be one team leading now. There's one whipped in again, headed away. Lewis, scorer of the first goal. Wanted a free kick, gets a free kick. Referee's right on t target there. Yellow card given to Kyle Owen from tugging from behind. So that's the two substitutes have been booked in their first two challenges. Yeah, it looks as if they've put Adkins down the middle now with Hill. Yeah, maybe gone 4 4 2, you know. They've got a little box midfield in there, I think, Tom. They've gone a 4. Yeah, it looks like they've got a box midfield in there. Two up top. Whatever Evans had said, it, by the way, at half time was, you know, it's worked slightly because they seemed a lot more up for it in the second period. Ratcliffe. I think psychologically, though, you go in two minutes up half time, Mark, you come out, you know, for the second period, you're thinking, now this game's won. But it's never won, never is it? Never won. Until... Never won. Ponty will know that. Ponty will know that as McCready gets it wide. Creamer. I have to show Tom Creamer a free shot at goal because he'll take one on every time, like the goal he scored on the first day of the season against Barry. Owen. Creamer. Plenty of bodies forward, seven or eight in the box there. Interception. Owen. Creamer. This is where they've fallen down this season, I think. In and around the penalty area, they don't look as if they're a threat, do they? Hill, can you take the defender on? Hill, Downs, Cushion gets it wide. Can he take the shot on? Cushion takes the shot on. Clayton Green claps his hands, says, Well, closed down to Kieran Lewis. Just off target there. Nothing wrong in having a shot from there, by the way. If he catches it right, he's got a good view of the goal. He's got a good view of it, missed it by a mile, Mark. That was the polite way I was putting it, Tom. <laughs> he's found it hard, I think, Cushion, to exert himself on this game so far. The... Uh, FA Cup, uh, the Welsh FA Cup semi-final draw, Tom, the uh, drew the short straw, was it, Cardiff Met? I think so. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. They've drawn Man City. TNS. Yeah, he's, he's, he might have a... Uh, broken nose, maybe. Broken nose there. Lloyd Marsh Hughes, a bit unlucky. Green. Gavin Allen will be a happy man at 2-0 but I just think he'll want his boys to just kick to life again in the second period, they haven't really come to life yet in the second period, but Stephen Evans will be infused by the first 12 minutes of the second period Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of Pritchard it was a real danger man in that first half Yeah, Pritchard and Jones and Amu led the line well, the three of them Oh, he could be in. Great ball from Green. The first touch from Pritchard. Good defending. Edwards read it well. Great defending from Steph Edwards. He's lucky he read it well as well. That ball just a little bit yard behind him. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a really good first touch either from Pritchard. Still good defending. Yeah, Steph Edwards did well there, read it. So you're always looking when you're mid table in any league, teams down the bottom, you don't want them getting on too good a run. It's Ponty at this, the way they're going here, Tom, they could, you know, seven out of their last nine points since Gavin Allen's come in by the look of it today, they could get on a bit of a run and maybe. 
pose a challenge for that seven spot. Yeah, they could do. You know, what a turnaround yeah. that would be. The thing is, they scored six goals already. Yeah. Right. Downs. Great ball from Downs into Hill. Brought it down well as well. Chance to put it back into him. Can he get the shot off then? Keston Davis. He's a cool customer, is Keston Davis. Yeah, good feet from Jones. Oh, superb, Owen Jones, well played. Kai Owen makes the tackle. Wouldn't surprise if Owen Jones goes off here, Mark. Yeah, just, did, do you think he did his ankle when he went down, or is he staying down? I don't know. His knee, by the look of it. He got a strong bench this afternoon, Ponte Pre, don't worry about that. There'll be players look itching to get on at this stage. But yet again, Colvin B trying to get back in the mix. Vaughan, cool as you like, heads back to the goalkeeper. Nothing, nothing's gone past him this afternoon. Waitress here, Mark? Yeah, and you're not accepting any of her offers? Dylan Ebenezer and Malcolm Allen there. Sean Ed David. It's a long journey home. She's doing the rounds. One thing was so certain, Tom. If anyone was going to have one, it was going to be you. Looks Green. Very appetizing, Mark. Green. Bevan's done well in midfield. He's just held that middle ball all the time. Over does the cross, Magerson. An hour mark gone. Yeah, you can see two nil to Ponty still. See a couple of substitutions here, Mark. Yeah, Ponty, it is. He's going to fire the substitutions on as well, I think. And it's uh, Jack Caladogan and David Carty, who's uh, been out in Finland playing. He's played for Code and Beath as well. He's only signed uh, this week. Late sign in. Interesting to see who he takes off. He's taking the Kieran Lewis. Will be pleased with his uh, hour. A goal to his name as well. Well played, Kieran Lewis. Caladogan started the season well. He's pretty sharp, this lad. Ex Cardiff and Newport. Yeah, I knew it. Jones is going off. Yeah. yeah. Most probably as well with that, uh, but he's just knocked down. He's done well, Owen Jones. On his day, he's a real tricky customer, Jones. Yeah, got good balance uh, in the team at the moment. Want to breathe, playing the three up front. You know, ben and Moon down the middle. Yeah, was Richard and Jones either side. Yeah, the fellow who's just come on, I think he just may have a. Be an inch or two taller than Ben, by the way, so they've got plenty of height in it. Again, no Ponty. Jared Wright must have headed a dozen balls unopposed, Tom. I think that's what Stephen might look at, Steve Evans. If you've got a centre half on one end of the field, he has headed ten unopposed balls. That's just. You can't allow that to happen. I know you haven't got a big man up against him, but somebody's got to get in his way. Do right, think, Mark. You know. Nobody wants to play centre forward anymore. So they're afraid of getting hurt. Half time, just want to drop off and be the playmaker. It's part and parcel of the game. You've you want to get stuck into these centre halves. Yeah, definitely. Pritchard. Strong challenge from Green. Had to make sure with the ball. Great ball in. Creedy Atkins. Creamer on the edge. Steph Edwards just delayed the pass a little bit. Edwards comes in from Creamer with plenty of air. Headed in by Downs, just wide of the target. Yeah, looks a full on figure over there, Steve Evans. Yes, yeah, it's going to be a big battle for everyone is, uh, in his last seven games, though. And there, on the other hand, Gavin Allen has come in and worked wonders. Yeah. The thing is, even this game, Mark, if Colvin B gets sniffed and get a goal back, this might, you know, 
Bit of chance to surprise us. Spoke to Gavin before the start, Tom. And he said to me they trained Thursday night. And he hardly had to do anything. He said they were so, you know, he was he was happy with the way they were up for the training session. And he said it, they all looked happy. It makes a difference, you know. When your camp's happy, it makes you a better team. There's no doubt about that. Hill. Plugged away all afternoon, Hill, with this long throw. I don't think there's been a purple shirt on the end of one of them yet. In it goes again. Jared Wright again heads it away. I mean, I pointed that out to you, Tom, about four long throws ago, and he's headed everyone since. So somebody's got to stand on his toes to stop him. I'm having a free header. Green. Great header from Green. Carthy. Dave Carthy. Green. Just knocks it too far forward for Amun. Football wise, it got on a little bit untidy, Ponty. And as you said on the half hour, Mac, it just looks like they're resting on their laurels, keeping their 2 0 advantage. Of course, it'll be a great win for them if they do get the 2 0 win. They just knocked off a little bit. Yes, really dangerous, that's for me. Atkins. Great ball from Atkins Sorry. Hill, just offside. Just strays offside is a great finish. Gives the goalkeeper the eyes and puts it in the corner. But unfortunately for Matthew Hill, the flag had already gone up. Yeah, just hand up there from, I think it's Keston Davis and Vaughan. Must be all, must be sport Arsenal, all the hands went up. <laughs> Ratcliffe. Hart has competed well in the air, to be fair to him, all afternoon with Amon. He hasn't been, you know, he hasn't lost everyone and he's competed all the time. Two key points, mind if you're looking at uh, Ben Amon, the first goal, he's won two 50 50s in a six yard box to set it up for Keaton Lewis, and the second deft back heel. Yeah. So it's uh, two A's. Owen. Downs. Loves a gallop, Downs. Great ball in as well. Hill. Oh, set up well for him. He'd be disappointed. His first touch wasn't that bad. It set up really well for him. The finish was not the best. Yeah, again, Downs, lovely weighted pass there. Just lashes at it rather than keeping to relax in any kind of positions, you know, get a good strike on the ball. Alex Downs. He wants, Tom, to, wants, to, been, smart, you know, he wants to get too much power behind Yeah, it. too much power. Yeah. Alex Downs, the right back, has been, again, uh, I know he had a great season last season, but type of player, I think. He's played every game. And he just puts his heart into every game. Could interest a few more clubs, you know. Hart heads away, right. Green wins a duel against Owen. Downs, Pritchard trying to play Amun in. So when you've taken, if you do take seven out of nine points, Tom would say, have yeah. next game will be an interesting one. Ponty travelling to Penabond on the strength of a good run. McCready. Penabond really haven't got going in this second half of the season, have they? Not as yet. Creamer, great ball in, cushion. Yeah, they. They've been enterprising to the last third. Colin Bay. They just haven't really broke the door down against Jarrett Wright, Magerson, Keston Davis, and Vaughan. Yeah, definitely missing Akpan, striker, yeah. their top scorer. Oh, Steph Edwards may wanted the advantage there, but it's a free kick in a decent area. It's a penalty mark. No. Scored a wonderful free kick 
against Carnarvon a few weeks ago, McCready. He needs to put in a decent area now. And does put in a good area. Keeper comes out and does well. Chance. Oh! Great effort. Superb effort from Cushion. He is so unlucky. He's taken on the wrong foot. He's just scissor kicked the volley. He beats the goalkeeper, Ratcliffe. And it's the underneath of the bar. That is bad luck for the Seagulls. Initially, some good goalkeeping, what decent punch great goal from Radcliffe. Been. An excellent strike there by Cushion. Well, the old saying, when your luck's out, Stephen Evans was looking to the heavens without it's the bar. Surely you'll be shown again. Great effort. Yeah. Does well to control that ball. Well, they don't come much better than that, no. Tom. Unlucky there. For Owen Paul Cushion, ex Rex, I'm sure all his quality there. I'll tell you what, Tom, if that had gone in, with 20 minutes left on the clock, that would have made this game really interesting. Owen. Uh, Amun. Bevan. Wright just sends it forward. Bevan, Green, hooks it forward, looking for the substitute. Owen wins the first header. Carty. Oh. Referee hasn't seen one there. Carty raises his leg and catches Alex Downs. If there's a free replay of this coming up, there had to be a free kick. JD Cymru of Premier, TNS versus Cardiff Met. Next afternoon. 12.30 kickoff again. Playing TNS at the moment, Tom, is like going to watch a horror film. Yeah, if you're the opposition. Don't be afraid before you get there. 13 goals in the last two games. And that's coming from somebody, who, like I told you before, who took a team there on about my 10th attempt. Told the boys to get off the bus and have a stroll in. Let's get one a bit confident. 4 0 down after 15 minutes. Yeah. Had some long afternoons up there as well, to be honest. Bright sunshine now in Pont de Pride. Uh, I bet you know he's had the story I had. I had a little note from a little kid. Yeah, I think we were about 4 or 5 0 down. I had a note to this little boy, you're getting sacked in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Was he right? No. Took a few points because I did get sacked. Hill. Headed again, away by right. One thing about the referee is let things go. Yeah, he's done yeah. well. Yeah. Done really well, the referee. Still within the reams of getting back into this game, were they to get a goal? Hooked by Green. Well, to be honest, the only team that looks like scoring in the second period is. Well, Evans has asked for a response, haven't he? He wasn't happy with his first half performance. He's asked for a response, and they've given him one. You know, they've hit the underneath of the bar, they've missed a chance or two. But Ponty now, what's Carty got in the locker? It's good skill. Green. Bevan Davis this is exactly what Gavin Allen would have wanted a bit of uh, retaining possession it's been back and forth oh great touch from Vaughan he goes around Downs Downs does his job again Certainly going to look a lot better team since they're going to like 4-4-2. Joseph Smith gets it forward. Carol Dogan. Hey, it's almost like August out there at the moment, Tom, with that sunshine. Oh, great feed from Caradogan. 
Yazdal, Yazdal in the locker. Green. Kaladogan on the edge. Spins his marker. Just taking it too much in the end. Yeah, just running into too much traffic there. Hill. He's hit the deck just in front of us. He's landed really awkwardly, and the referee will have to blow up there. It was a decent jump from the striker, but he's landed awkwardly. Just being knocked over, I think, by Keston Davis in the challenge. Yeah, Marty Hill. Yeah, Keston Davis as well. They just stood his ground. Still in the time scale with it to get a goal here, there would still be a chance of gaining an away point. First header they've won. Chance. Volley just didn't get enough on him. McCready straight into the arms of Ratcliffe. And Ratcliffe in no hurry to get rid of the ball. Yeah, McCready, good touch on his chest there. Instant volley. Couldn't generate the power or the accuracy. Odds on most probably to win the flick then, the big man, Carty. And it would give uh, Ben Amun another option of being a man to run off the flick. It could be a handful if you're playing them two together, by the way. Yeah, Amun is a bit slow there to react to that, to that touch from Carty. Bala playing this afternoon as well. It's another big game. A top six is tight, Tom. Uh, the, thirds, the, the top two, I think, are over. Absolutely over. TNS, of course, and Connors Key. No bats being 13 points clear. So it's all about trying to steal third place. Yeah. I hope that uh, TNS. Win the cup, yeah, for the third place to come into into play for Europe. Interesting semi final as well. And the other one is uh, Bala versus Connors Key. That'll be a great game, by the way. And is that the, the, that's the game this afternoon? What is it? Uh, Bala Connors Key this afternoon? No, sure, it's Bella Smack. got to look sometimes when it, when it is a 2-0 and like we said they, they've they've worked their socks off in the second period and they've been hard luck in the other side of the bar but look at the four defenders Keston Davis Wright Ben Magerson and Ethan Vaughan have they really had to work their socks off as a back four Tom has, have they had to win you know gigantic tackles real de you know de great defending headers off 50-50s uh, probably not, Mark. But he's, you know, Jared Wright. Jared Wright's had a stroll, isn't he, in the park? Stroll in the park. Stroll in the park, and, and he's most probably, like I said, it, I'd like to check at the end how many headers he's had. No so they, have, they don't carry that firepower, do they? Unfortunately, with that volley from Cushion. Great effort from Cushion. So unlucky, Bevan. He's seen somebody. Uh, on the right wing there, by the way. Still 16 minutes left, Mark. Aberis, I remember the last game of last season, then in the bottom two for the first time in a few weeks, I think now. This afternoon, obviously, with Ponty, looks like they're going to win this. But what a game that was, remember, last season, the last game of the season at Aberystwyth. That was a game of football and a half against Coynavon. It's a 4 3 victory. 3 2, isn't it? 3 2 victory, fantastic. And the last game of the season at Park Avenue this year is going to be Aberystwyth Town. We point to breathe. Wow, what a big and that'll be great ball. Oh, almost great ball. Well cut out again. Magerson hasn't put a foot wrong all afternoon. Coming. 
Downs. Just that last third again. Ponty are often just to go deep. They're not afraid of going deep because crosses. They fancy their chances of winning any crosses or interceptions like that. Carty. Thing is, Mark, when looking out from a point, nobody comes short to look for a one-two or anything with a puck all win day. Owen. Downs gets it inside. Could be men over here, Ponty, if they were looking for a quick breakaway. Clayton Green just says retain the ball. Vaughan. Cardogan picks up the wrong man there. Steph Edwards in plenty of space in front of him. Creamer wants it inside him. Atkins marshalled well. He started really well, Atkins, in the first uh, 15 minutes of the game. Gavin Allen thinking this will be a great job for him. And it started that way. Certainly had response from the players, Mark. Sam Downey comes on. Downey comes on for Owen Cushing. So unlucky, Owen Cushing, with that effort. One might have brought his team back into the game. But as yet. Oh, what a ball. Big chance. Vaughan. Oh, great save from the young goalkeeper. He had a difficult start to the game, and that shows a lot of character from the youngster. What a marvellous save. Well, I looked all over from our angle here. I thought that was in, Mark. Terrific save. Joseph Smith, yeah. take a bow. Great effort as well from Vaughan. He must have thought it had goal written all over it. 3 0 was on the cards, but what a save from the youngster. Brilliant stuff. Cut a Dogan as well. Great weighted pass for him into the path of Vaughan. Gets it right this time. It was Magerson got the first header on it. Whips it across the front. Hook clear. Green. Favourite together. Will he take the shot on? Takes the pass on. It's a great pass as well. Ponty just want to see this last nine or ten minutes out. Yeah, coming on strong again now. Putting a bit of pressure on. Colin Bay defence. Just before he takes his corner. Tom went on about the... Shauna David had an interview with the Leeds United players in midweek and uh, two of them popped up and got goals last night. Connor Roberts and Dan James in a win for that wonderful uh, I was wondering what time you, when you're going to bring this up, you know, being a Leeds fan, Mark. Yeah. Oh, it's, all, it's, all, it's all relating to the Wales squad, of course. Of course it is, yeah. I was disappointed, by the way. Shauna didn't bring me anything back. You should have asked the autographs, didn't you? I was looking more like a, a shirt, Tom. Ah, oh, right. A Welsh, one of the Welsh, Welsh lads. Oh, they sit there. They're right in there now. And it's good to see, Tom, because four Welsh players, you know, getting game time and getting amongst the goals. It's all about confidence yeah. leading up to the big game, which is only two weeks away now. Yeah, 100%, Mark. I, I couldn't agree with you more. Ampadu Rodon, you know, very, very important that they play on a regular basis. And Ampadu playing in a centre half role, Tom. Green. Vaughan. It's a great ball from Vaughan. Chance if it comes across. Not it across, it's a third goal! Back of the net! Yeah, the Margerton ball knocked it across is Ben Margerson gets his goal. Great header, directs his header back across goal, and it gives Ponty that 3 0 lead they were looking for. If they weren't definite of the three points, they will be now. A Margerson goal gives Ponty pre United a 3 0 lead. Not Ponty you, 3, Colwyn Bay 0. Yeah, not very often you have a set two centre halves, one setting up. Great cross, by the way. Wins the physical battle, first of all, against Steph Davis there, uh, Steph Edwards there. Then 
launches to the far post, and that is an absolutely blindly good header. Mark. Peach of a header from Magerson. He, he, he times his jump so, so perfectly and heads it back right across the goal. Terrific yeah. goal. Great cross. cross by Keston Davis and superb finish. Yeah. The old saying is headed back where it come from, and that is a well executed header by the centre back. Great goal. Ponty for sure have sealed the three points now and climb out of the bottom two. And the way they're playing since Gavin Allen has come in, that will make it seven points out of nine. Who would count them out of a late run for the seventh spot? Well, he said, Mark, earlier, six wins in the last ten games of last season. It's looking pretty good. Carty. This season as well. Ponty looking for the fourth now. Hart. Bevan's done well in midfield off all afternoon as, as well as Clayton Green has played in there physically. Bevan's been busy in the slot be that behind him and picked up a lot of loose ball, you know. Yeah, I think he's run out of steam a little bit there. Looked as if he had a bit of cramp, Bevan, but he's covered a lot of ground this afternoon. Ratcliffe. Yeah, there's a handful of that force going in the box now. There's a plenty of six footers in there waiting for it. Pritchard. Pritchard, Pritchard on a magical run, just stopped with a last ditch tackle. I mean, when you are, they're sitting in and they're sitting in, but when you're 3 0 ahead, Tom, with five minutes to go, it's that sort of situation when you could start enjoying yourself and you're looking for the fourth goal now. Yeah, absolutely. If you're a Colvin Bay player, you're thinking about the five hour trip back in a minibus. Substitution Clayton Green goes off after a marvellous performance again. And he is replaced by Joshua Stevens. Ben Amoon as well going off. And he's replaced by Luke Gullick. Great to see Luke back in action for Ponte Preed. Ponty's an all-time record goal scorer, I think, Luke. He's been out for a couple of seasons. One, one club man, Luke. Great, great to see him back. Flick the cross. Superb cross. Caladogan's looked live boy since coming on, Tom. Gullick. Gullick on the edge. They're just lining up now, Tom, to take their chances, I think. Yeah, I think uh, the Bay probably have thrown a bit of a towel in now. If the Bay... A little bit despondent. Colvin got seven games to go after this. Their home form is going to be absolutely vital. Yeah, we've just seen... You know, Pont to breathe. Their goal difference looks really good as well now. Minus 12. Golic gets on the ball. With the back stick again, goalkeeper Smith, Carty looking to get a goal in his debut chance. It's back of the net, and it is Gullick. He's been on the pitch a minute. He's been out for 18 months for Pondy. Injured himself a barrier season and a half ago. He comes on and he gets a goal within a minute. Congratulations to Luke Gullick on his comeback. Pondy four, Colwyn Bay nil. Well, what a present for Gullick. Started it off down that right hand side, lays it back and works his way into the penalty area. And this is where you know strikers are born. Yeah, he's off the back there. Yeah, he's a striker, you could tell straight yeah, away. He's sniffing, he's in the six yard box. Half a chance, look. Yeah. It's not half a chance, you know, defended us really well. He goes to clear the ball here, Hart, smashes it against Gullick, and it's going. No problem. Yeah, Gullick gets the fourth, and it's Ponty four. Colwyn Bay nil. Just seen it from behind the goal again. The keeper asking, well, you know, you've got to ask a couple of questions against the keeper, Mark. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. No doubt at all. And it ends up a comfortable afternoon for Ponte Prix United. And when you gain victories like this, Tom, you get a 3 0 at Barry, you get a 4 0 against Colwyn Bay. 
you start looking forward to training, right? You start listening to that new manager who's put these things in your head, and you're starting to think, hey, we can climb right out of this, you know? I think it might as well. They go to weed off at West, they're down to 10 men for an hour, yeah, and they get a point. Definitely. So it does build up a good spirit in the team. Yeah, really There'll good. be a long minute and a half left now. You know, to be fair to Colwyn Bay, they had a big start of the second period. They had a good 20 minutes or so. The, Obviously, a bit unfortunate. The shot from Cushion in the underneath of the back was a bit of a game changer. You know, if that goes in there, two one with 20 minutes to go, luck doesn't go your way. The other end, two goals against as Clayton Green gets the man of the match off Malcolm Allen. Yeah, well earned, I think. He won that physical battle you talked about, Tom, in the first half against the opposer's captain. Yeah, well, he nullified McCready. Simple, but i tell you one thing. Jared Wright must have been in the... with his performance in the back. He hasn't put a foot wrong. He's a no-nonsense defender, isn't he? Let, let's get rid of the ball, let's win it. Simple. I think he's everything that Stephen Evans would be looking for himself. 100%, yeah. Hit the nail on the head there, Mark. Prima. Consolation, no consolation with Jared Wright, and then he's headed it away again. How pleased are you, though, Tom, if you're Luke Gullick? 18 months he's been out injured, comes back on the pitch, gets a goal within a minute. Oh, brilliant. I hope he enjoys the rest of his day. Vaughan, free kick given. Against Vaughan, Colin Bay, and McCready. Just three added minutes, the fourth official says. McCready. Puts into a good area. Hart gets the first header, it goes behind. He suppose their biggest threat from set plays doesn't be Hart, to be fair. Got that header at the beginning of the second half, just flashed it past the post. And that effort there again. But Gavin Allen will be delighted with his side's performance this afternoon. Yeah, Gavin, I think it's an easy game. I'm sure he won't let it go to his head, though. He's been around the Comrade Premier League for a long time, don't forget, as a player and as a boss. And he'd be enjoying himself. I think he's marking you know, up. <laughs> Any cold water on the fire, but they're still in danger, aren't they? Yeah, well, definitely. So uh, definitely, it's going to go down. You know, to the wire. Who's going to go down? <laughs> certainly, he has rejuvenated Pontypridd. That's for sure. This will be the, uh, the biggest home win of the season, anyway. Janet Wright still calling, pulling all the strings there. Uh, the captain right in front of us, Tom. As you said, as impressive as he's been, he sounds like he's a bit of a leader for him. That's what he's got, obviously, got the armband on for. Caradogan runs it in behind him, just a couple of minutes to go. Creamer gets it inside. McCready looks to switch play to Kyo in. Kyo in. Consolation goal. Looking for. The Seagulls, he's just not gone their way the second half. Again, there's the first half. Bounces off, cream and it goes behind. Spirited effort in the beginning of the second half to try and get back in the game, but two goals then later on has made it a very, very comfortable afternoon for a very decent performance again. Pont de Pried end the season form again. Should secure him safety. 
goals by Owen Pritchard, Kieran Lewis, Ben Magerson and Luke Gullick give Ponty a comfortable 4-0 victory over Colwyn Bay. Takes them out to the bottom two and they can look ahead to the next game against Pennebon. Thank you very much for watching this afternoon from myself and Tommy Morgan. Look out for the highlights, Scorio, on Monday evening. Steve, ultimately a very tough afternoon for you and your team. What are your reflections on that one? Yeah, it's hard to take in at this moment. Um, I think every goal was calamitous. You know, schoolboy defending it's, you know, um, I'll have to walk around back, but I think everyone, they haven't even had to work for it. It's been mistakes and, you know, you learn that when you're, you know, 10, 12 years of age. Um, yeah, I'm hurting, um, but, you know, today's not going to define us. You know, we've got another seven games left to get ourselves out, out of where we are. Um, but today, yeah, it's a bad day. You mentioned defensively. I've got to say, Pontypridd, they're a team, they've struggled for goals all, se all season. Did you expect more from your team? Because, like you said, a lot of just school by errors over there. Yeah, I've, apart from the two mistakes first half, the two goals, I don't think there was much in the, in the, in the game. We had a great opportunity at the end. Keepers made a great, two great saves, one from Lloyd, one from Alex. So I don't think there was an awful lot in the game. Second half, we come out for we, we were on the front foot. You know, we had a couple of opportunities. Could have been different. We need to get a goal and we didn't. And then the, the next two goals are, like I said, calamitous. Um, so, yeah, it's a bad a bad day at the office. But, you know, there's nothing really between the, 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 the teams. They're just more streetwise. Looking ahead, Steve, there's still only three points in it. You've got... A heck of a challenge facing you. How important is it that you don't let this afternoon's result have too much an effect on on um, on how your players? Are yeah, no, it can have. You know, we, you know, we'll hurt. You know, the lads will hurt. That, you know, they'll know they haven't performed today. It's probably, um, you know, in patches our, our worst performance of the season. Um, but you know, like I said, we've got seven games to go, and you know, it's my job now to galvanise them and get um, the points and the wins on the board that um, help us survive. Steve, appreciate your time and safe trip back today. Cheers, Dio. Ali Dama just had an had or Ganlinyad at Irish Open Athens. He didn't hear the same thing. Now with him, we got a oif goalie and Arvin Canarvan. Neither we in the rain from Canarvan to Aber Street. A barrier hole for a Fonte Pri. Then I need to the obeder goalie then from how my game Irish now and dig with an a quick cut and hoirach head the Vasily Valin and get you well. Saint Jean now with an head you've been a good this Arvrig a quick a cab on the run. Please go to table in the head the you've been to pre. Wedi Cody or thy isab. I've been sure for that real or half this year. Good to be here. Gavin McGuin and Guida Kavan and it's a better goal them just pamar half this year. Good to have you on here. Good to have performed. Yeah, I think I think game boys are going to get out of here. So with the pressure, plow three points here. So the massive in it. Then the cocking one at three. I can't wait to score a goal. I may not stand in the ill two goals. 
Scorio Peter Goal. Pedro Chorea or Guhanol and Scoria Hever, Pamar Blaze to Sigra Hona. And they do you take a Dechran, Timmer Rinor de Ego Hore, which is going to make an indeco with a Hore, a mind to push secret their squad, Gineni, the Manikita, Evon Gilith, I give him an Danos, Gineni Batrum, Sidon Guithio, a two Cabithia within some of them line, who says Nessay Penabont. Dan lost a game, even Gavin, on Bitting Credit at a performia de Mar, can Lenia de Manade, or an header a Garvan from now to do with the Timor. Well, do we did it, Mar Garvan, delivered him a board and a quack with a even person or any technical or team, just in a dial hurry where he can open to be back away, blow with the Dame de Trio, he don't even have a body. Gavin, dear Convarion, I'm a Kamser here. Joy or Tatliata here. Y mwy o feildrodi ddod penwthnos nesa i ni'n dechrau ar neuadd y parc y seintiau newydd yn erbyn. Metgr ddydd mae hwnna'n fyw amser cyno ddydd Sadwrn a wedyn ni rownd gynderfyn o Cwpan Cymru Bwt Energy. Merch ydych ddrecsam yn erbyn y seintiau newydd. Hefyd yn fyw ar lein ddydd Sul nesa am bump o'r gloch. Well, I'm so delighted to say I've got Clayton Green joining me now. Clayton, everyone in Pontypridd, you're all smiling, you're all loving life. Just... I guess, how much of a big deal is that result and that win for you guys? Yeah, big. Um, obviously, we had the points deduction before Christmas. That took us down to bottom, and we were like seven points off safety. So with that win today, that's the first time we've been outside the relegation zone. So um, mentally, it's nice just to be outside there, but we've still got six games to go to, to make sure we don't end up in there. So more work to be done. That's a really good point, actually. Psychologically, what can this win do for you? Yeah, massively. You know, we've beaten the team who is going to be um, competing with uh, to stay up. So beating them once, we've beaten them again just before Christmas away at their place. So that gives us, you know, the psychological edge, I suppose. But it doesn't really mean anything going into games because anything can happen. But we've got Pennebont away now next week, which is another tough game. Um, and then Aberystwyth, who the other team who is right next to us. So two big games coming up. As the captain, Clayton, how pleased are you? A clean sheet and four goals this afternoon. Yeah, clean sheet, um, four goals. Nice to. We've been in a few games this season where it's gone right down to the wire, and sometimes we conceded late. So it's nice to be two, three, and up in the last ten. So we haven't got so much anxiety going there towards the end of the game. I want to ask you quickly about Luke Gillick. Bit of a club legend yeah. here in Pontypridd. Got the goal after you know he's been out for so so long. I could see in the celebration you guys were so yeah. chuffed for him. Great to see him scoring today. No, we're all buzzing. Obviously he scored goals for the club in every division, all the way down to the bottom. He's taken them through the leagues and as the club went into the, the Welsh Prem, he got his injury, which meant he was out for probably the last year and a half. So for him to come back in today and score in his first game back, it's lovely. Clayton, I know you've got a big birthday coming up next yeah. week, so this is not a bad way to kick <laughs> off the birthday week. Yeah, 30 on Tuesday. A happy um, birthday. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't got a cake or anything to give That's you, but right. no hope worries. you have a good birthday. I'll have plenty tonight. <laughs> Clayton, go and enjoy. Really Cheers. appreciate your time. Thank you. Well done. Well, dyna ni o'r criw i gyd ym hond y pridd. Fy'n credu bod criw sgorio ni i gyd ym yn i ffyndorolau i watsian y rygfi. Nawr, diolch yn fawr am y chwm ni chi prynau me. Wylwn i chi trynesau.